Welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Bad. In today's video, we're back playing in Kulinati. We're still trying to get that name down, but we're going to get through this one. Uh, I waited a little bit. No comments came in yet, but I still got, I know, I know what I was going to do either way. I'm going to run the rabbits. Kind of reminds me of my D&D &D character. Plus, I was recommended to do it by myself, I guess, or whatever. Um, we're going to do green rabbit, and then I don't know... Healing, I feel like, would be good for everything else, but this is really five damage or heal. Heal for four or five damage. I, I don't. Mm, the damage has such a short range, and I'm always going to be in range of my own people. So it kind of makes sense because the damage is going to be like last ditch, but I feel like healing would keep me from getting to that point, anyways. So I'm going to take that one. I don't understand the Halo one, so I'm going to take the Living Ink because this one also made. I think they explained this one better also. I don't have a name to put down and I think I'll play I'll play the loony because why not also because he has blue skin uh master's second cousin twice removed growing up in the orphanage wasn't hard on him wasn't too hard on him so we'll be fine let's go okay this seems pretty pretty straightforward today you will pass your final exam become an Inculinati master and then set off on your Inculinati journey you still have to face a wild beast encounter before you can take your exam, though. Okay, well, that doesn't seem too bad, so. Just select the wild beast encounter icon. Tiny and Kulinati versus wild and beast encounter are. Okay, I guess it's saying to keep moving forward. Tiny versus wild beast encounter. Okay. Uh, we're fighting those things. This is the dual map, I guess. Apocalypse Fire. I guess you can play against somebody in this or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. We're still pretty early on. I'm just making a lot of guesses. You, you encounter various beasts, battlefield elements, and random events. If you spot a beast or an element you haven't seen before, use hints and instructions to learn more. Press the assignment, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, that's the pause menu. We'll leave these on for now. And then if they get in, no, I'll turn them off. So this dude has, hang on. That's exactly what that is. Um, he has someone behind me already and one in front, but I'm going to get ink on this turn. And I don't know what the, these do yet. Okay, we already learned about the attack types. Oh, it gave me a blue hand now. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna summon another rabbit here. Uh, and then sleep. We should get nine back that turn, right? Okay. Ink shower and random glaive. I don't know what the, these things do yet. I guess it's protection for us. Uh, collect ink and wild encounters is important. For every 12 drops of living ink you drain, you'll receive a special bonus. All your beasts will regain some health and obtain positive status effects, e.g. a halo. Be careful, the enemies our army can be benefit from drinking ink too. So halos come from collecting the ink from the ground, it seems like, right? Okay, that or it's coming from getting kills. We'll see. I want to summon a sword person here. And how much damage can these things do? Let's see. Because we can do enough damage to kill, I could push it forward and knock out. Now it's only two to three. Okay. Because I'm going to say I could push it forward to hit that. Uh Oh, actually. Could I push it forward? If I move right, would I slide? Take this action immediately if there's a beast on the field. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I would slide then. So I'm going to push. Oh, I don't have push. I don't have push. Hang on. Whose turn is it? Uh, 
Okay, well, I can't push, so this isn't what I'm trying to do. And then I think I did the right thing to end my turn without losing it. I'm not sure. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's the other thing. So I couldn't remember how because it, it says take a nap, but you're supposed to take a nap at the end of your turn also. So I'm always a little confused on if it's going to end the whole, I guess, turn because you go back and forth per turn. It's a little bit of a different style of stuff. Here comes the butts, causes an enemy to take a nap, gets a headache, and decreases their accuracy. This action won't work if the target isn't facing your beast. Uh, okay. Didn't expect to see that one. I can't hit that one? Hang on a second. Uh, attacks a single target up to six fields away. Cannot attack adjacent fields. But that... I can hit this purple one is what I want to hit. It only says this one is av available to be hit. Whatever. Oops. Alright, whatever. That was the first attack. It don't count. It don't count. Yeah, I just can't hit that one for some reason. I wonder if there's some sort of protection on it. Damn. I did pretty good in the tutorial, but in practice, it ain't working out too well. Okay, so three. I guess it's the the how many of uh, the bubbles that we stand on. But that is extra damage too, because it's backs to him. Okay, that's not bad. And then I hit my mic. Uh, let me check that thing right quick. Because I kind of want to know about the living thing again. Living ink in wild encounters. For every 12 drops of living ink drained. Okay, so just draining them. It gives me three ink to play, but draining you drain it one time for the three. This is what it's looking like. Because I just got three last time. I got three over here, but the same amount, the right amount up in the top corner. But we still can't hit that one is my only thing. Is it this thing that's blocking it? Hang on, let me... Let me actually kill this thing over here first. So we don't have something continuing to attack on the back line. Oops. Oh, I guess it just automatically does it when you run out of time. Okay, cool. I thought I'd lost the attack or something like that. Okay, we'll be fine then. All right, ink will be collected once all the beasts finish their turns and take a nap. Don't move your beast until the end of the chapter. I can't summon anything, huh? Nothing really needs to be healed either, so I'll just end the turn. That still says three, so I'm not sure. Oh, wait, there goes plus three. Hmm, probably shouldn't have been there. Yeah, I guess I gotta break these to get shoot past them. Wow, that was an easy one. Uh, we'll move you here. Just take it out now. That way we can start shooting over it. In a second. That bunny's eyes is real low. Oh, I, I guess it don't need to focus when they're shooting. Gives halos and make give a halo and make the target unpunishable, unpushable. Move to right here. And then pray, I guess. 
prank will cause the beast to execute a more powerful attack on its next move also. All right, prank beast. Okay. So it's like a save your turn, do more damage. Still like that, it's a blue hand. Okay, and then I'll end my turn. Okay, so we got the plus three there. Here comes the fire now. Okay, so it's getting into the, this one kind of took a long time, I guess. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so now I can hit. I guess these things block your attacks. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, I guess because it looks like these are supposed to be hanging from something above them. I didn't really zoom in and look at it, but it looked like it was... I really don't understand what this thing is. I missed the, the block for it, I guess. Got it this time. I guess it varies in speed on how it moves, which is honestly pretty cool. How are you? You got your attack charge too. Oh yeah, yeah, that's definitely worth holding it. Uh, this cannot be. Winning? Me? Likely. Uh, and it's a weird little background. I kind of like this stuff. It's weird. It kind of, it reminds me of, oh, what was that one show? I can't even remember the name of it. I don't think I ever knew it. It was some like little boy who wore blue and then his little sister wore pink. And they were like paper mache kind of. I don't know what the show was. Not a great description, but maybe someone has it. Uh, collect rewards. All right, take all. A uh, higher prestige will grant you more options in non-combat encounters. Okay. Your health regenerates a little after every battle. And by how many points, you may ask? It, it, like it said at the beginning, it depends on your difficulty. Okay. I, I, I guess I'll die if I lose all of it. Careful though, if your health drops to zero, the battle is lost. When you lose you restore it to full health and you lose one quill. All right, so you have three chances to get through it. And Kulinati gets tired of drawing beast. Every time they draw a beast, their boredom level goes up. The higher the boredom, the more the ink it costs to draw a beast. Now, repeat. And Kulinati gets tired of drawing beast. Every time they draw a beast. Okay, so you want to mix up your, what you call it? All right, to decrease boredom, draw a different beast in your next battle. Fight, fight a beast versus beast battle, or visit the chapel. Got it? Okay, cool, I, that felt kind of pointless. And there's no, there's no changes I can make to the army yet. Like I can't buy anything, of course. Okay. Uh, every one to three chapters, every one to two chapters. A couple of ink blotches will spawn. Oh, okay, so there's stuff here. Random objects of this type will appear on the battlefield. Glade event. Don't really know what that one means. Apocalypse will happen in three turn or in five turns, and these Alright, we're gonna be fighting some dogs and it looks like. And it looks like they got a donkey with them too. A donkey bard. Interesting. Okay. Let's see what they got then. Oh, alright, there's levels to it now. Sometimes your beast would need to move up and down levels on the battle. Like exactly what I just said, huh? Non-flying beast can you this flying beast. All right. You can let it go up and down level. Flying beast don't need to. You can sometimes use beast actions and even attack enemies on different levels. All right. So you can, I assume you can shoot downward. Oh, it probably does bonus damage, wouldn't it? Does it do bonus damage? Can I tell? Doesn't look like it would say anywhere. But we do want to take out their archers in long range. And probably this donkey too, because I assume it's going to have some... Yeah, motivation gives sprint range. Yeah, I feel like he's going to be given a lot of buffs if I know... Well, I do know D&D, so pretty likely. Ooh, I'm glad it stopped on five because that took too long. Yeah. 
this thing finna poke her feet. What's her name? Wybert? Wybert and puns. All right. I don't want to use. Oh, they're still sleeping, huh? The cheapest one I can summon is a. Oh, and it'd be right in its face so that I couldn't put it down there. I thought I could. I guess. I, oh, that's saying where I can move to, huh? Actually, is it? Oh, no. What? What is it saying? Whatever. I guess I might have misclicked on whatever. Anyways. Okay, these boxes attack. Watch out for them. All right, buddy, let's calm down. How to steer your eyes. You can steer your eyes around. Oh, I'm supposed to use the arrow keys, not WASD. Oops. All right. That's a little bit weird on the controls. Really? Not WASD? Nope. Once the arrow keys. That's going to feel weird on my hands. All right, we're going to get this dude out of here, but I just want to take out that rabbit. Let's take this shot first, because I feel like we're going to use... The rabbit before, or not the rabbit, this archer before they use the uh, spearman again. That's not going to kill either. Ah, that little extra tap of damage would have been nice right now. They still got that turn off anyways, though, so. I was going to say it almost can't kill. All right, here comes the the donkey. But isn't that thing gonna hit it now? Never mind. All right, I gotta make sure that donkey doesn't get near me then, because I've already taken too much damage. Can I move? I should have moved first. I gotta remember to move first. I feel like that's gonna be the thing that gets me, and that that gets me in a lot of the games where the order that you do stuff can matter. So. Honestly, I don't think we need to summon anything and I don't want to summon stuff if we don't have to because that's going to increase our boredom. We don't want to just be pushing that up for no reason. Oh, he's going to kill this rabbit, maybe. I'm going to have the rabbit move here and then shoot down. And then I want you to move down to here. Can I turn which way you're facing? I don't think I should have turned him around, but I don't know how to. He's going to get extra damage and accuracy on his next attack, though. I'm going to hold him there in case this thing gets closer. Okay, now I've bun. Okay, so I have Wybert. I, I don't read their name. Coleslaw. That's a nice name. A, a nice um i guess hardy i don't know if you would i don't know what you would call it. coleslaw's weird as a dish i can't really use the dish to help coleslaw as the character out but puns and wybert are pretty cool wybert's pretty hurt though so i could maybe try out this heal ability oh that's a weird hand gesture but we got him the blue hand is kind of weird now it's just like it's just a, a blue human hand that makes it weird to me i guess but we're still all good. We're getting close to getting the halo up here. Oh, did he not get his turn first? He just got kicked? I was going to say. He might be able to one shot them. Oh. oh, I lost my halo because of that. Are these things? Ah, oh, fuck. I should have known about that. I should have. If I can just summon a bunny. I don't want to do that though. Hmm. Honestly, and I can't use any of them. I'll just take a nap then. Because he's not going to kill anything on this turn. So it really doesn't make sense for me to. to what you call it? Waste the summon.
Are those things still finna be sleep? Okay, well, first things first. Let me make sure you don't die just out of nowhere for no reason. Hmm. Moves myself off the floor. <laughs> um, and yo, can you do that? Oops. All right. Is that what is that? What's that blue thing? Oh, you can only do one thing at a time. Okay, let's take a shot then. I think it can miss though, right? Okay, nice, cool, solid. And we beat it before the apocalypse happened too. Now, I love winning. This is a depressing. Oh, okay. I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like, oh, you're really fucking up the animal kingdom or something like that. Just get real depressing out of nowhere. Didn't expect him to just be calm. All right, so we got some health back. We got to watch how much health we're taking. Oh, a big boost in prestige. A new beast. Okay, the mighty dog. A bishop-like creature and an axe-wielding creature. Okay, cool. Uh, so, oh, select a beast. It's going to take 15 to summon, though. A more powerful version of the sword-wielding dog. Rumor has it that the beast can can one shot a rabbit the sheer force of attack pushes enemies away if they survive in the first if they survive in the first place i want to take uh well attacks with two adjacent fields at once can restore health and gives halos to up to three friendly beasts at once once is anointed i don't know what is anointed means uh, anointed beast deal double damage to a heretic any beast that attacks the anointed will become a heretic that's pretty solid. I'm taking that and then take all of the rest. Prestige allows you to choose dialogue options unavailable to puny peasants. Being famous does have its advantages. I mean, of course, of course. Yeah, honestly. You will now visit a non-combat location. Here you won't face a battle, but a decision that will affect your resources. So there's more than just the fighting over and over again. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right. So I can go to the ale house, spend gold to permanently increase your starting health, or I can go to the scriptorium and spend gold to permanently increase your starting living, your starting living ink. All right. Well, if I increase the living ink, I can increase the halo, but I didn't take that ability. I took grants four drops of living ink. If a hand action kills a beast. Oh yeah. I kind of played this wrong. Then I don't have a hand action right now. Okay, so I mixed these up then. I should have started with the, the two starting abilities kind of went hand in hand with uh, the the hand action went with the starting ability. Probably should have read them and that would have helped. Well, if I realized what a hand, whatever. Uh, let's, I guess, because we're not really, if hand action kills, so that's never going to happen. But this will still help me get to that point. Uh increase my starting health i haven't had issues with health yet do you wish to study to increase your starting living ink uh i'm too famous to spend gold i'm going to take advantage of my celebrity i mean that gives it to me for free and that gives me even more oh it gives me plus 25 prestige but minus two to what I don't know what that is. I want this stuff, so I'm gonna take it. I love turning a profit. Um. Uh, oh, I can go to both places. Oh no, this is saying where I am. Okay. You have reached the end of the tiny map. At the end of each map, an Inquilinati master awaits. Defeating them in battle will allow you to continue your journey. But first, you have to defeat me to pass the final exam at the academy. I mean. I don't think he's going to be that bad. I think we got it. These other two, other few fights haven't been too bad. Most importantly, you need a large diversity of beasts. Always bring the maximum of five beasts with you. You'll soon be getting some new beasts, so plan your strategy carefully and watch out for boredom. Okay, so this might be... All right, so we have... We can, like, shuffle the deck, basically. Um, Where can I... Can I do that from this screen at all? Settings... I don't know what button it could be because I'm not on WASD, so there's no buttons to really try out. 
been gold to buy various items. <laughs> he says it kind of looks shady. His eyes are kind of droopy. I think it's the way that it's... I don't know, whatever, I just want the prestige. I don't really want to buy anything from him. Alright. What are you doing? That doesn't make sense. Yes, yes. Just remember one thing. Live for today, plan for tomorrow, party tonight. That's my motto. Okay, I guess that's a cool motto. Oh, he looks. I have really. Why my ears? Whatever. Um, I really don't want to read what he has in case I get them later. Or at least I don't, I don't know. I might be hindering myself, honestly. But let's see. Let's take that creature. I only have four right now, but I have a max of five. Okay, really leading up to here is just tutorial. So honestly, it really just explained like you can have random encounters uh, and stuff like that. All right, let's see what we got. All right, this one's real vertical. Get often bored when drawing the same beast over and over. Depending on the difficulty settings, each beast you draw during your journey, it's boredom bevel will increase the amount of living okay you don't draw a certain beast during the battle you're born okay so it's during the whole battle okay that's fine then so what's what are our rabbits looking like all right i guess it didn't really count and kind of reset it we got we got winden out right now winden wim wimond whatever can't say it uh, let's get you to move up here. And then... Ooh, we'll have you pray, actually. That way you can just get pushed off, and you're gonna increase some stuff for us, too. Uh, I was in the middle of saying something, probably just stopped. Bowl of sword. Ew! Oh, he has wings for hands. Oops, I didn't mean to say ill like that. That's kind of fucked up. Um, yeah, that's kind of shitty. Oh, I'll spawn up here. Yeah, and then I'll give me the ink block right there. And I'll move you over one to also get that stuff. All right, cool. So we should get like, oh, we're getting six. And then we're going to get an extra nine. So I wanted to, I could spawn this attacks two adjacent fields at once can restore health and gives halo to up to three friendly beasts at once is anointed. Okay. Uh, take a nap. Oh, that's weird. You should know that I can force my beast to explode to do, ooh, smell of explosions. All right, so they do AOE damage. So I want to get that away from my guy if I can. Oh, yeah, he's shaking now, so it looks like he's going to explode. Can I attack him from here? I'm gonna put a bunny here so I can slide past him and get away from that thing and also be on the ink as well. Uh, let's see. No one to heal, so I'll end his turn. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. I thought they couldn't push. Oh, I guess everything can push, huh? Fuck. Lost brings back memories. I'm deeply disappointed in you. Ooh. Not the disappointment. Shit. All right. Uh, so we lost the quill. Our tiny quill and I went to zero health. And every beast boredom is minus two. So does it mean they're cheaper to summon? It does. No. Can't remember. Oh, yeah, I said minus two. We want the boredom to be down. Yeah, because these have been used in every fight. I didn't use the spear in a few fights. And this one has come in 
often enough and that one hasn't been used used because it's brand new uh rematch because i have nowhere else to go and this is too early in the game to just be quitting uh a couple of ink okay okay we started with one of them okay so we start with one of a random uh teammate out attack both adjacent fields at once deal additional damage to a heretic you have a double halo to three friendly units that's gonna go crazy i'm gonna have you dash up to here since i know it's the first turn i think once again i'm gonna put an archer up there i know it's gonna be expensive but actually yeah he still has just health reduced so it gave us a retry from where we left off um a rap is gonna be 11 and that's all i could do but i could get a sword and a spear out and i do need the range so i bring a sword out because if i can get a sword up to him and i can spawn one right there too that's gonna be able to do a like one good hit from a sword would be fine and i'll put a spear here to defend because once that sword leaves he can still poke up at and he can also come back down to defend if he needs to all right you can ah, i should have moved him fuck i gotta remember to move that's always the thing because you have to move before attacking ends the turn this is the same thing that got me i haven't played a, a tactical like this in a minute uh where you have to uh move or you, where you have to attack after you move if you want to okay i'm gonna summon another unit first and then use his halo ability to boost everyone and i'm still using the wrong hand actually first i'm gonna move you up to here yeah that was a really dumb idea to put my dude by the edge over there i don't know what i was thinking i know how this game works i can't hold your attack till a different time That's fine. I thought it was just gonna blow up for a second. Okay, now I want you to summon a rabbit right there. And you can move. I think this way is gonna be further from those steps. So it's gonna make that have to move further to get to me to explode instead of moving right under the ladder. Cause I don't know if they can move past this like that up and down the ladder because i could be blocking the ladder we're here now anyways though so that's the end of that one's turn oh he can detonate that right okay can you do anything at range like you can't throw the spear or anything you could dash up to there. Does that have to be adjacent? Oh, they're still out of range though. It says two adjacent. So I guess it can be adjacent of the target that I'm hitting question mark that was gross but oh, that was so weird whatever okay <laughs> okay i'll give one to you <laughs> Can I give another I should be able to give another one, right? Up to three. Oh, that's shitty. Oh, that is gonna blow up. I could kill one. It's gonna blow up and hurt though. Fuck. It's double damage still though.
Interesting. So two moves. Oh, I just hurt myself. Right? No? Oh, okay. That stuns him for one turn though, right? I'm going to put a sword here just so that can't walk any closer. I don't know if he can attack through the sword person, but you know, whatever. Like I, I got to block it with something. I can't just let it sit there. Okay, well, we're in the fire again. I kind of should have known about that from last time. It's It seems to be a, a close repeat of what it was before. That's a crazy range for it to hit two people. Next. Uh, fire spark. A battlefield element that can cause... That can stand on... Wait, that you can stand on. Deals three damage to a beast and Tiny's standing on it at the end of a chapter. So I just have to move off of it. So it's the same as the Apocalypse Fire, but not death. Not insta-death, at least. Um, I don't want your turn. I want your turn to move you over that way. And... Can we summon somewhere else? We'll summon something there. I'm kind of getting desperate because I'm get, it's getting away from me a little bit. Maximum beast number. Players can have up to five beasts at any given time. Once you lose one of your beasts, you will be able to draw a new one. Okay, cool. Sleep. That's your turn anyways. You're going to kill him? Yep. Okay. Uh, move here and attack that's gonna kill me he can knock me off and kill me but he's done damage to me so i should do bonus damage to him oh i broke that so he can't push me off now that's actually pretty good all right heresy now so i'm gonna deal bonus damage on him and i don't have to do anything special to hit him too yeah that thing's gonna be pretty strong if i can fucking beat this fight honestly uh, let's see. I could take out an enemy and he can't deal any more damage. Yeah, it's probably going to be better here instead of trying to go for the kill, especially if it only has one health left. I should have moved first. Always forgetting. Oh, and that lets him do that, of course. Okay. So I'm going to use a bunch of units right now. Lose a bunch of units right now. I can't stand there. And then I'll pray. I need to move from where I am too, because I'm by the edge. He's almost dead now. Oh, the fire spread. If I get a good shot, I can kill it right now. Fuck. Interesting. I was going to try and push me off if I ran up there, I guess. Uh, let me get sure turn and I'm gonna move you to the right one so we can't get pushed off as easily. I'm gonna heal you so we don't fuck around and die. And then sleep. That extra damage might have been better thinking back on it now, but that's also probably because I messed up on the skills, is why I'm thinking about it. 
yeah, this kind of isn't this isn't the unit that I should have brought in. He's really only here to protect um, our main guy, our tiny, I think is what we call it. Yeah, the tiny. Oh, if I fucked that up, that would have been tragic. Because I kind of really needed to kill that because these other two can't come down and get any closer. I'm just blow up next to him. Uh, interesting move close. Oh, he's going to die in the fire this turn. Even if I don't go up there and hit him. Yeah, he's dead now. Anyways, I don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, it's over now. Oh, you can pray. And there he goes. So that's a dub, right? Yeah, really, I was going to win either way at that point because he's going to take that one hit and it was a guaranteed three damage. I love winning. Excellent. Congratulations. Yeah, we made our, our master proud. Uh, Collect rewards. Take all. Beast. Pitchfork wielding creature. Uh... A bow wielding dog that might help out with the ranch. So I do like the bow characters and I could switch the dog and the rabbit out. Uh, the swords, the swords are fine. I'm not really using those the whole time. A hand action kills. So I want to get a hand action that can kill if I can. Draw an obstacle that covers your beast and tiny inculinati from spear and bow attacks. So that's what these things are. I was right on that. Well, I figured it out late, but I was right on it. What's an enemy beast to take a nap and skip its turn? Or draw a cauldron of beans with a garlic. Be careful. It is more dangerous than it looks. Cause it a small explosion when destroyed. Okay, that can give me a kill with my hand ability, I think. It should count even though it's not immediately as it happens. And then a new talent. Are these different things? Okay. Beasts with the base cost of six or less are one drop of living ink cheaper. Okay. Friendly beast would su regain two health at the beginning of each chapter. That's pretty strong overall. Moving enemies with a hand action inflicts bleeding. That's also really good, but I don't think I've been, I haven't moved enemies with a hand action. It hasn't really come up yet. This is probably going to be the most powerful one to keep us alive longer. That's definitely going to be helpful. Wonderful. Now we can start the party. Thanks to you. Thanks to you. Let's go. I'm not supposed to read. I have to say, loading and explosions are so satisfying. This is why I never miss a party. Never miss a party. All right, so we have another chapter now, and we're like a 50 minutes of recording. S stuff's gonna have to get cut. But let me see. Can I save and quit? Let's see. The party's in full swing. Look, there's Death, the oldest in Kulinati and the master's best companion. You watch as death bends down in a, to, for an abandoned snack, their scythe dangling dangerously close to the master's neck. And then death reaches for the snack, and the scythe delivers its fatal blow. The master drops down to the floor, breathless, lifeless. Oops, says death. Maybe I didn't eat that cheese after all. Death then notices you and beckons, beckons to the front door. Come with me. I know how to fix this. Um, I mean, but I, I mean, I have no choice, honestly, but I, it'd be pretty cool to follow death somewhere. Um, but I think we're going to figure out where we go in the next episode, because this one is pretty long. I said that a second ago, but I don't know if it's saved or not, but let's see. Let me read some of these abilities a little more. Dexterity attack. Stop the arrow. Wait a second. Stop the arrow in the attack zone. And the highest number in order to deal the most damage. Damage ranges hack arc. Okay. Is that every isn't that everybody? No. Dexterity attack. Because I don't think the heresy was, right? That's dexterity. All of these were dexterity. So that's the moving arrow. So I think this one was different, but I can't remember what it was. Honestly, I'm gonna record the next video right after this one. So or I'm going to stop here, but I'm going to find out right now. Sorry about that for y'all. But that's going to be all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope y'all enjoying it so far. I am. It's pretty cool. I've like, again, like the tactical games. This one's way different, but I'm really interested to see how we can mix some teams together. At a certain point, I'm probably going to stop putting these out. I, I don't know. Actually, fuck it. I'm not going to say that yet. 
anyways <laughs> thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one